guys, it's Taylor, and if I look like an insane hot mess right now, I just filmed this video outside, and then I was like, you know what, I really don't want to have you guys deal with listening to the wind, and there's a lot of it, so my hair is going to be all over, but it's okay. This is my first ever favorites video, and I decided I was going to do it in the start of 2012, just because I've never done one before, so why not start the year out right by doing a January 2012 favorites? So, let's get started. Let's get started with lip products. We rubs on lip butter. You guys have all probably heard it by now. Um, I have mine in creme brulee. And when I was outside and filmed this, I broke it, so I don't know how well it's going to work. But it looks like this. And it is really nice just because it's nude. Like, it's not like, oh, I'm dead, look at me with my nude color lips. But it's really pretty and really flattering and, I don't know, it was really nice just to slap on real quick. So this is another product you guys also probably know, like, by heart now, and that is the EOS Lip Balm. And I know a lot of people are just like, oh, I love it, but it doesn't do anything for my lips. Uh, I had this, not this one, but I've had these for like three years now. See, I need another one. But... I don't know, they work really well for me. I put these on before bed and then let them soak in my lips and in the morning. They're really moisturized. I mean, they're not like a chapstick, but they moisturize my lips really well at night. The next and last is my favorite. It smells so good, tastes so good. Every time I put it on my lips, it makes me hungry. And that is not an over-exaggeration whatsoever. It's ridiculous. If you guys have it, you'll be like, I totally agree. And that is the Marshmallows for Toasting. It is from the set, the holiday set. But it's the lip gloss. It smells just like marshmallows, but in a good way. Like, I don't really like how the lotion smells that much, but this smells so good. I absolutely love this. So these next three things are what I use every single day, but I've never made a favorites video before. So I figured I'd include them in this one just because you guys can know what I'm talking about then for the future. I probably won't feature them again. But the first is my everyday mascara, and that is... The Great Lash by Maybelline, and this and it is the blackest black, nor trace nor. And I know a lot of people hate on this product for some reason. Like I've had the one with the green tube and I, the green cap. I loved that one, and then I got this one, and I love it. It doesn't clump. The brush looks like this. It's really black, which I love because I like my lashes to be full and black, and that's exactly what this does. And I also like it because it makes it really easy because I'm oh, totally into the spider eyes, like the spider lashes, when they all like kind of like look clumped together, but not, they're really not. Totally into it and I can make it so easily with this mascara, so I really like this one. The liquid liner I use every day is the Maybelline Line Stiletto Ultimate Precision Liquid Liner. And it looks like this is the brush. It's in the color, what is it, black is black. And I'm almost out. I really do need a new one, but I just ordered um, the NYX marker, line precision marker. I don't really know what it's called, but I know a lot of people rave about it, so I wanted to try it out. And I know you guys are going to be totally disgusted by this one, but my foundation, I had this for like a year now. I really don't wear foundation or concealer just because I have problems with my skin. Not like, oh, I break it all the time. I just had a bunch of problems. And I don't know, I just don't like my skin to like my pores be all clogged and all that, but I do use this sometimes, almost, actually I almost use it every day. I don't know the name of it because, as you guys can tell, it's gone. In the back, even the ingredients are wiping off. I've had this for so long, like a year, and I have so, I'm only halfway done. So I have a bunch left, so I feel like this isn't going to be leaving me anytime soon, but it is CoverGirl. Look how nasty that is. I'm in the hunt for a new foundation, so let me know. It's good and, I don't know, I kind of want drugstore just because high end, oh, like, I don't know. I have a coupon for $3 off the Revlon Photo Finish, or Photo Ready one, or whatever it was called. So I kind of want to try that, so leave me a comment below, tell me if it's a yay or a nay on that one, because I've heard a lot of mixed reviews about it. My favorite nail polish, I have two, and I'm kind of doing it a little differently because the one was my absolute favorite, but I really didn't have it on my nails the entire month of January. I only had it on for like four days, but it was my favorite. And that is the Ulta Nail Polish in Smokescreen. And it looks really gray. I don't know how it's picking up on camera. But when I bought it, it looks so blue. Like, not like deep blue, but I was like, wow, this is a really cool, like, charcoal blue. And when I put it on my nails, it was gray and purple. But I was like, okay, I'm liking the color. It was a really nice, foggy, wintry color. So I did love this. But the one I had most on my nails, that's why I had to include it, is 
from Sephora by OPI Collection, and it is called Electric Blue Blasted. I got this on sale for $5. It was a crackle. What well, is a crackle? Oh, but I just put like five coats of it on so it doesn't crack. But it looks like this. It's a really, really pretty cobalt blue. So I thought it was a nice touch for the month of January. This next product I loved. I used it every single day. I'm going to be out by next month. I guarantee it. And it really saddens me because I love it. And I should have stocked up, but I didn't know I was going to love it. And that is the Handy Back Winter Candy Apple Hand Lotion by Bath and Body Works. And everyone's like, ooh, vanilla bean, get vanilla bean. And I got this one instead. It cost me a dollar for this. And I was like, well, I'm going to be a rebel and try it. It smells so good. I use it every night before bed and every morning out of the shower. It smells delicious. I don't want it to run out. I never want it to run out. I want it to be December again so I can stock back up on this. My favorite eyeshadow is obviously the Naked Palette. Um, I didn't include the Naked 2, although I have it because I got it January 26th. And that's really not the entire month, but I am making use out of that, so they'll probably make favorites. But I don't know. I feel like that palette's more for, like, summer for my skin tone, and I don't, I don't know. But I use the Naked a lot just because the colors are so warm. The next thing I have is actually a gift, kind of. I want to give away from a fellow YouTuber named Frankly Scarlet Face. You guys should definitely check her out because you aren't already subscribed to her. Every time you watch a video, you learn something new. She is absolutely fabulous. I am mesmerized by her videos. She's so nice. And she has such a good talent for makeup. It's ridiculous. She knows her stuff. I absolutely enjoy watching her videos. But I won this in a giveaway from her, and I was so excited to win it. And I'm actually going to be making a look with this really soon, so stay tuned for that tutorial. But I'm actually showing it not for the pretty colors, but for a blush I love, but you guys can admire the pretty colors. This is the Stila Dream and Full Color Palette. It looks like this. Um, the color I really loved is this Coral. That's exactly what it's called. And looks like this. It's a nice peach without like your cheeks looking insanely clownish. So, it's always good to not look like a clown. Next stuff I have is from Mario Bandesco. Mario Badesco is really expensive if you guys know that. I don't know if you guys are familiar with him. I wasn't familiar with any of the stuff until I got this. Hey, disclaimer, I am not sponsored to say any of this. I go free sample crazy. That's just how I am. I get like free samples of... I just got a 12 pack of coffee that just came in. I love free samples. So I wasn't like, hey company, send me your stuff and I'm going to talk about it. They sent me nine things. And out of the nine things, I only really liked two. And I use them every day. The other stuff I was like, yeah, not for $40 for a bottle, but there was two things I insanely loved, and that is the Cucumber Cleansing Lotion, and what it is is you basically put it on a cotton swab, and then you wipe it off, like wipe your face, and clean it, and you see all the dirt and grime and everything that's in your pores, and it's really disgusting, but at the same time it's kind of cool just to see, like, that's on my face, ew! I really liked this, and I also really liked... The moisturizers that they sent me, I mean, it's probably not better than any other moisturizer, but I really liked it because it has SPF 17 in it, and everyone knows you're supposed to wear sunscreen every time you go out of the house when it's sunny outside, but I like this because you put it on after you use the cucumber cleansing lotion, and it was really rough on your skin, like insanely rough, and then as soon as you took your hands away and let it settle, it was so smooth, your skin felt like a baby's bottom, no lie, so I really didn't like that, I did like that. The rest of the products I got, I was kind of just like, eh, not too moved by, but those were nice as well. So if you guys do want some free samples, I definitely recommend going to get some from them, just because they're really expensive and you can get some free samples. So the next thing I have is my favorite accessory, and that is this necklace. It reminds me of like a Cleopatra type necklace. I was actually wearing it today, but I don't want to be like, this is what I wore, this is my favorite. Yeah, it's gold, and I know I've said I didn't like gold. So it sets like this, you just tie it, you can make it long like a choker, or short like a choker, or long and let it dangle. And I know I said I didn't like gold, and they did have it in silver, but I bought the gold just because it looked more of a statement piece. And I don't know, I'm kind of trying to get into gold. So I got this for $2 from a store that was closing, and it was originally $12, which is an amazing deal. So it's like this just horseshoe-shaped U 
fits your neck perfectly so I absolutely love it and that's it I really hope you guys enjoyed my first ever favorites video and I hope to bring you guys more soon so thank you so much for watching bye